and that is to draw. She started drawing literally at the age of two. Uh, she started reading at a very early age. Um, what do you do? You draw more. <laughs> you draw some more. And now here's, here's the thing. A lot of kids draw. A lot of kids draw and they start out very, very doodly, and that's exactly how she started out. <laughs> I, I, I went back through the archives and found it. <laughs> it doesn't get any more respectful, so you might as well start. <laughs> The point of the exercise being, if, if, if you like to draw, and you start drawing, and you think to yourself, you know, I'm not drawing, these don't look like real people or real horses, you keep doing it. And you draw some more, and you draw some more, and, and maybe you start looking at things in books and on TV, and just... Uh, <laughs> came on in the early 1960s and she fell in love with the characters and started drawing them like crazy. And um, if you want to draw, draw. Just draw. Keep drawing. Do it every day. Parents, if your kid wants to draw, encourage him or her. Because, you know, people ask, where did you learn to draw? Where did you go to school for drawing? And the answer is, is nowhere. She never took courses. She just simply drew stuff every day and practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced. And so, you know, you do that and maybe at age 8 or 10 or 12 or whatever, you're drawing characters that look like that, but then eventually you keep at it and um, it, uh, it doesn't show what I want it to show. Uh, well, Let's hope that this is gonna this is gonna work. Um, be a sponge. Read a lot. Watch a lot. People ask where do you get your ideas, and I hope this really works. Okay, good. Um, when he watches all kind of, as a young girl, and still to this day watches just movies of all sorts, the old romances. Um, <laughs> Very much, uh, and pay attention to this part because it's going to come up a little bit later. Yes. Uh, big fan of, of the, the, the gothic costume um, extravaganzas uh, with an emphasis on Poe. Um, reading, going for everything from, from Poe to Shakespeare to comics. And, um, Particularly, uh, 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 nobody, nobody has ever done it. Nobody ever will do it like Jack Kirby did it. And uh, comics have been an influence on her art. Um, manga, back when it was impossible to find, she went looking for it because it was new and different and exciting and the storytelling style was just out of this world. Anime as a source of inspiration. The point is, absorb everything you can. Where do you get your ideas? Ideas are easy. They're out there. Life is full of ideas. But the more you read, the more you look at, the more you discover that there are different ways of expressing those ideas. So you discover comics, you discover science fiction and fantasy, and you get out of the repressive little hometown. <laughs> Start discovering who you are and what your boundaries are and how to um, how to overcome them. Now, Wendy wrote something about this that I'm going to put up on the screen and read. It encapsulates her and, and, and her creativity. Creativity.